Is it possible to have a life on Mars? If life ever evolved on any of the other planets, Mars is the likeliest candidate. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and Mars is right after Earth making it the fourth planet from the Sun. Because Mars is after Earth and a bit farther away from the Sun, it is easy to conclude that the temperatures on Mars will be cooler than those on Earth. Although day temperatures may be warm, throughout the night, planet Mars will be exposed to extremely cold temperatures. Also, it is the second smallest planet in our solar system. Still, there are several similarities between our planet Earth and Mars. Just as on Earth, Mars orbits in the same direction. As a result of this similarity, Mars will have changes in the seasons as we have on Earth. Some other characteristics between Earth and Mars consist of its atmosphere. Just like we have on Earth, Mars is known to have glaciers, dust storms, river channels, and volcanoes, and surprisingly, there are huge glaciers, mountains, and even traces of volcanoes. If you've been following the videos in our channel, you should know what we're all about. We bring you various surprising facts about things you thought you knew. Today, we're going to look into the possibility of having life on Mars. Our planet as we know it has seen various changes over the centuries, and no one knows what will become of it in centuries to come. It is therefore imperative that humans find an alternative and find it quickly. Keep watching to know what we know about life on Mars and what we don't know. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The possibility of life on Mars is a subject of huge interest in astrobiology. This ever-increasing interest is largely due to the similarity and proximity of the planet to Earth. After Earth, Mars is the planet with the most hospitable climate in the solar system, although it doesn't look like it at the moment. Satellite images have been gotten from Mars make the planet seem barren and inhospitable today, but this wasn't always the case. A long time ago, the red planet once looked very different. Mars was a lot warmer than it is now and covered in rivers, lakes, and seas. Scientists believe that Mars had once a large ocean, which covered more of the planet's surface than Earth's oceans do so currently. To put that into perspective, Earth's oceans cover about 80% of the planet. To date, there is no concrete fact that there was life on Mars, whether in the past or now. However, there's a lot of evidence that not only was Mars habitable in theory, but, but was also home to some kind of extraterrestrial life. It's possible that remnants of that life still exist undiscovered beneath the planet's surface. Mars itself certainly gives some indications of the possibility of life, the possibility of life on Mars. Over time, scientists have studied the origin of the earliest forms of life on Earth concerning life on Mars. They believe that the best way to understand if life exists on Mars, or once existed, in other words, NASA researchers are taking lessons from the debate about life on Earth to Mars. It is important to know that it wasn't just Mars that was considered when talks about life outside our planet first came up. However, scientists believe that the quick start to life on Earth could mean that life could also emerge quickly on other worlds, either Earth-like planets circling other stars or perhaps even other planets or moons in our own solar system. Of these other worlds, Mars has long looked the most promising. Yes, Mars is dry and cold, plunging as far as 220 degrees minus Fahrenheit. Its thin atmosphere cannot block ultraviolet radiation from space, which would devastate any known living thing on the surface of the planet. However, just as we stated earlier, the planet might have been more hospitable in the past. There are gullies and dry lake beds that indicate that water once flowed there. Moreover, Mars was much warmer in the past than it is currently. Since warm temperature and water are two major requirements for life to exist, there is a high probability that previously there was life on Mars and there could still be deliberate efforts that are put into it. Another reason for optimism about the possibility of life on Mars is that even on Earth, life exists in the harshest of circumstances. Furthermore, life exists in the most extreme places on Earth, deep below the Earth's surface. Yes, one of the skepticisms of the possibility of life on Mars is the dryness and coldness of the planet, but there is still that reason to be optimistic if you consider that life on Earth is available in the extremely hot and dry deserts as well as in the extremely cold Antarctica continent. Most noteworthy, this resilience of life gives plenty of hope about life on Mars. Furthermore, scientists have noted that some ingredients for life already exist on Mars. They call them biosignatures, which refer to current and past life markers. Furthermore, scientists are scratching the surface for them. Moreover, there's been an emergence of a few promising leads. An orbiting probe and ground-based telescopes detected methane in the atmosphere of Mars. On Earth, microbes produce copious amounts of methane, although it can also be produced
produced by volcanic activity or chemical reactions in the planet's crust. Therefore, a possibility arises that methane presence is due to microbes existing deep below the planet's surface. To date, astrobiologists have only succeeded in just scraping the surface for life detection on Mars. Although there are no signs of current life on the Martian surface, life may exist where we can't see it underground. Researchers believe that Mars, like Earth, emanates heat from its core. Below the surface could exist an unseen temperate world, warm enough for liquid water and microbial life. Life may not be possible on Mars. While it's very easy to be hopeful about the possibility of life on Mars, it is important to note the drawbacks. First of all, judging by the present conditions on the surface of Mars, almost all animals and plants cannot survive. If one was to get a glass of water to Mars and pour it towards the surface, it would disappear before it reaches the surface. Mars suffers from great scarcity of water. Most noteworthy, water discovered on Mars is less than that on Earth's driest desert. This is because water only exists in one form on Mars, the surface, ice. So would it then be possible for humans to live without water? Another major problem is the gravity of Mars. It is important to know that the gravity on Mars is 38% to that of Earth. This situation doesn't seem good at all because low gravity can cause health problems like muscle loss and bone demineralization. The climate of Mars poses another significant problem. The temperature at Mars is much colder than Earth. Most noteworthy, the mean surface temperatures of Mars range between minus 87 and minus 5 degrees Celsius. Also, the coldest temperature on Earth has been minus 89.2 degrees Celsius in Antarctica. Now, that is not all of the drawbacks to having life on Mars. Other problems include the high penetration of harmful solar radiation due to the lack of the ozone layer. Furthermore, global dust storms are more common throughout Mars than they are on Earth. To add to those, the soil of Mars is quite toxic due to the high concentration of chlorine, which would inevitably cause harm to any living organism there. The purpose of all the studies relating to life on Mars is to get an alternative to Earth should the case be something happens to our beloved planet. Beyond the study of life itself, there are many different benefits of Mars exploration. Going to Mars has given scientists the need to figure out how to search for life in ancient rocks, drill for rock samples, take high-resolution videos, develop flying machines in a place with a gravity that is 40% lower than on Earth, send detailed information back to Earth promptly, and take off from another planet. It is expected that there would be large payoffs in commercial developments from Mars exploration and advances that bring new conveniences and inventions to Earth. Furthermore, steps are being made to take wealthy tourists on trips around the Earth, visit space stations, orbit the Moon, and maybe even take trips around Mars. For a substantial fee, people would be able to experience weightlessness, have a view of the entire planet, and see the stars from outside the Earth's atmosphere. As scientists continue to figure out how weightlessness and low-gravity situations affect human performance and how space radiation affects people, scientists gather more information for future travel. The advent of space tourism will broaden human horizons in the same way international travel has exposed people to other lands and perspectives. So many people do not believe in a world outside the Earth, but when they get to experience space travel or see people experience it, they would change that perception. Astronauts who have had this experience say it has altered their viewpoints and had a profound impact on their way of thinking. To sum it all up, life on Mars is a topic that has generated a lot of curiosity among scientists and experts. Furthermore, establishing life on Mars involves a lot of challenges. However, the hope and ambition for this purpose are well alive and present. It is therefore important that humanity makes serious efforts for establishing life on Mars.